What's going on everybody? Jeremy here, Badlands Flying Club, and today it's oil change day in the old warrior. But before we get into that video, um, I did something kind of kind of different, see if you guys like it. But what I did is I took our logo and I hit it in the thumbnail of this video somewhere. Uh, so just see if you guys can find it. And if you do, let me know in the comments below that you found it. Uh, don't tell where it's at, just, just that you found it. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button for us. We would very much appreciate it. All right, let's get on with this video. All right, so one of the first things we need to do when we change the oil is we gotta drain the oil. Normally, we can just use this clear tube here. We have a quick drain on the bottom side of this motor and what it'll do is you'll take this tube and you'll just push it right onto that quick drain and it'll hold, it has a little barb on it. It'll hold and then you run this tube down through the cowling into a bucket and then you let it drain. Unfortunately, when we picked this tubing up, we got the wrong size. Um, so it won't, it won't fit on the nipple. What we did instead is we found a, uh, a funnel that we had here in the hangar, wedge that in there, and then run that down into the bucket. And that's gonna work just fine for, for now. And now we're just, we're just sitting here waiting for it to, uh, to drain. Second step, guys, we're gonna cut the safety wire off the filter. So the next step after we cut the wire is uh, we gotta take the filter off. Um, and it also helps when you loosen the filter, get a little bit of air in there to help drain the oil out of, out of the system. On the back of the filters is like a, it's like a one inch nut. Uh, you just take a socket and put it on the back of there and then you should just be able to twist off pretty easy. put some more safety wire on. We got this, uh, I think it's stainless steel safety wire. All I gotta do is just pull out, I don't know, probably a little more than you think you need. Clip it off, let's take it over to the plane. Now this part can be a little tricky. Uh, you kinda just have to feed this through this little notch in the engine block, feed it through there, and then bend it around like this. And I'll show you here real quick. So what you gotta do is you gotta just kind of feed this, feed this in this little slot right here. And then grab the other side and pull it through. Just like that. What's kind of nice about these little containers here is that the, uh, the oil spout here is actually threaded. So all you got to do is tip it in like this, thread it in. It's that simple. All 
everybody. That's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty easy job. It only takes about half hour, 40 minutes or so, depending on how warm the oil is. Uh, we weren't able to get up there today because the wind is like gusting at like 35, 35 knots. So the oil was a little cold, so it took a little bit longer for us to do it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.